Okay, another, yet another part. We're going to do a repeat performance on the Google Maps because it's really just such an important application and it wasn't cooperating with what I wanted to demonstrate a minute ago. But before we do, it's, it's so critical that you know the basics of navigation that I'm going to just repeat them again. Remember, at the bottom, I know it can be a little hard to see with this glare, recording on an iPad, you see along the bottom that there are the little house, the two boxes, and the arrow that's pointing backwards. The little box again is going to take you to the home screen. We're already at it, so it didn't do anything right now. The, the backwards arrow we haven't mentioned before. It's a really useful feature, and what it does is whatever application you're in, whatever it is that you've been doing, it's going to take you backwards one step. And that's, that's extremely useful, but re, it, it, it's going to remain constant at the bottom of the screen at all times. Just remember that whenever you need to step back, go backwards, uh, you, you just hit this little arrow with the little U-turn, and it will do that for you. The, uh, this other very critical uh, navigational feature, it's a little bit more of an advanced feature. didn't really want to get into that with you, Dad, at this point until you learn the basics. But it's something that lets you manage the fact that you might be in multiple applications at once running on your CPU for the device and that you might not want to do that because it uses up a lot of memory. This uh, little, the two boxes on top of each other will take you to a list that shows you everything that's running and you can get rid of certain things that you're not using in order to conserve energy just by swiping them. Here's the camera we were in. Swipe and it's gone. This is settings, which we weren't even in here. Swipe and it's gone. Here's YouTube. Swipe and it's gone. The store that you use to download applications. Swipe and it's gone. It's that easy, okay? And you, you want to do that periodically to sort of clean things out so that you're not hogging the resources, which will slow down your computer and also, or not computer, your tablet, and cause the, um, the battery life to diminish faster than you want it to. Okay, so we're back to our home screen. Let's go back in to the maps again because this is just such a cool feature I wanted to demonstrate for you. Um, I've, I've preloaded in here an address that uh, is, it's actually where I work. And you could have typed it in or you could have spoken it but it's already in here, so I'm just going to hit it so that it goes there. It's going to um, an address on Century Park East in Century City, which is in the Los Angeles area. It shows that it's found it. The little red circle is the target of the address. You hit it here, and it actually shows you this, street view. See this little picture right here? This is the actual building of the address. Okay, you hit that and it will take you to a picture, a satellite picture of the address. And you can literally move around and navigate on the street from using virtual satellite pictures. This is a really cool feature that I love. They have this also on iPhones and, and um, you can also find it on Google Maps. But um, it's also available on your device. And you, I don't know if you can see this well, but here's like a little tiny picture in orange of a little uh, symbol of a person. You can drag it like the person is walking and you can literally walk down the street and see the street all like traversing the satellite photos. This is awesome. You can use this to literally walk around the world. Any address that you enter as long as there's satellite photos for them and, and there really are Many. You can go to Paris, you can go to Spain, uh, you can go in, in your own backyard, you can look at properties that you might be interested in. Um, it's really just a fantastic feature. This map will also give you directions, and uh, I believe they can also speak them like a Garmin. So uh, if you had this in your car, you could do that. The only issue for you is that it does require that you're on the Wi-Fi internet, and this particular device you have is 
as we've discussed, is Wi-Fi only without a 4G network. Therefore, you don't have the ability to be on the Internet unless you're on a Wi-Fi, which you're not going to be when you're in the car. So there's that little issue. But I just wanted you to see this fantastic feature. It's going to be really, really fun for you to play with. Um, just love this one. Okay, so let's go back to the home screen. Well, this is our initial home screen. As you know, I think now you're probably getting used to it, used to our basic applications. And I am repeating myself on purpose because I want to uh, just, you know, have you remember the, the lessons, and it's easier to do that when things get repeated. So this is page two of our initial home screens. I just showed you the Google, ma Google Maps. Other things that we have here, and I'm just going to be really brief because this, vid this sub part of the videos is already getting long, right up here, you see this little white, looks kind of like a little white shopping bag with a colorful triangle in it. That is a basic, it's called Play Store. And for the Galaxy tablet, this is your primary source for downloading new applications or apps. As I've let you know, a great, great many applications are free, and that includes all of them that are on this page have been free. And you can, um, you can just go into that application and search for names and maybe even brainstorm where you're not sure what you're looking for and be surprised at what you might find. Um, and then it, that will be for another lesson, but it's very easy to download. Now, the next application where you see the P with the little blue box around it, that is Pandora. And I told you about Pandora. That is an internet radio. You can use that to listen free for songs. I know that, uh, Dad, with your taste, that you had said that you, uh, <laughs> okay, everybody's tastes are different. You can just enter the name of an artist that you like, whoever it might be, and uh, you'll get, like, um, a perpetual playing of different, it'll, it'll, it'll take what you tell it, as artists that you like, and it'll suggest new things, and it'll be constantly playing music for free. There is, this is the uh, free version of the application, so it's giving you little advertisements here, some of uh, which are, some of which you might think are interesting, a lot of which you think are kind of uh, unwelcome. Um, usually what you do is you can just, like, there'd be a little X on it, and you can X out of it in order to get rid of the advertisement. Um, so, but anyway, that's Pandora, and, and I'll give you more specific lessons in the future. Just to give you a really fast overview, because we're going on really long here, this next application up here is Flickr. That's this one, the white box with the two little circles, a pink one and a blue one. Flickr is for, uh, it's a new application for a website that's been in existence for a while where people can upload photographs, and it's, it's a nice interface, and um, I myself have photographs up there. It's, it's really a fun application, and you can look at it there for you. Next to it is Hulu Plus. This is Hulu for watching television and, and films. Because this is the Plus version, it does require a subscription, and it's very similar in, to Netflix in a way, although it's current television programs uh, as a lot of the core content, and, um, and you know, it costs the same as a, as a streaming subscription to Netflix per month. I have HBO Go next to that. If you have any access to an HBO subscription, then in this, with this application, you can watch all the content on HBO of like the current films that they're showing and their series. Um, if, for example, you like the, the, t the series Game of Thrones, just to take an example, you could watch that on HBO. You could watch all the episodes back to back or whatever it is that you like and or find interesting on HBO. That's the maps again. This little black box right here is called Crackle, and that gives you free movies. They are, they, I think there are paid options, but there are definitely free ones. They may not be the most current releases and everything, but it is free. Really quickly, this little triangle here is a navigational tool. Um, it's kind of like the maps. We then have here Yelp. Yelp is the program I told you about where it's reviews for local areas of restaurants and, and, and things like that. Um, then we have the little, the F in the blue box is Facebook. Next to that we have LinkedIn. 
The red box with the MF is movie phone. You can use that to look up movies locally. As I'll let you know, because of the satellite features, when you go into movie phone, it's going to, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you must have that, it will automatically update and know where you're at geographically and tell you the movies and the show times of, uh, of what it is that's nearby where you are at geographically. It will also have content on reviews of the movies, pictures and information about the actors and trailers that you can watch for the movies and that kind of thing. This is a little uh, line of applications that's kind of shopping oriented. We have Amazon. That's just the same as going to the website, but you can do it through the application. eBay, same thing here, eBay. You can go to eBay on the internet, but you can also do it through this application on your device. Craigslist, same thing. Uh, and then Groupon. Groupon, I'll go ahead and open that up. Groupon is a, a perpetually updated list of, of uh, deals and bargains and coupons about all, lots of either restaurants, things to do, um, spa treatments, travel things, uh, and it's, it's discounts and, and even goods and services and things like that. And it will, uh, I've got it set right here now to the area that's closest to you, which is Santa Cruz, Monterey. Um, so that's, uh, that's that. Now this, this is screen two. We also have further apps on the next screen, but this, this sub part of the video has gone on uh, a while and we have a, a little um, noise pollution also in our, our video. So we're going we're gonna to end this part. Thank you for listening.